guys, Joe here. Welcome to TNG Video Games. We are a retro gaming store located inside a flea market in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And a few weeks ago, we posted a video showing that we picked up a crazy amount of stuff. We spent over $10,000 in one day on video games. I've done an unboxing of the bigger collection from that lot. And now what I have for you is an unboxing of all the other stuff we've got. So I've got a pile of stuff here beside me and we're gonna kind of go through it together. It's been three weeks to a month since I've looked at this stuff. So I'm kind of gonna be surprised again at what's here. So there's lots of good stuff. There's some duds, there's a huge variety. So let's get to it. So first up, we've got this nice piece here, uh, Nintendo Action Sets. Uh, it's the set with Mario Duck Hunt, the Zapper and two controllers. So this one has the gray gun, which was released before they replaced the gray gun with an orange gun because they thought the gray one looked too realistic. I had, and most people would have had the one with the orange gun growing up. So this is the one that came before that. Everything's in here, it's all complete. So really happy to get this. Great piece to put into the store for sure. The gentleman who sold us that also had this, this nice uh, NES game holder with a bunch of carts. So let's go through and see what games are here. So we've got Star Tropics, Zelda Adventure of Link. So some good RPGs so far. Copy of Zelda 1, the first one. Um, we actually are well stocked on Link, but this one seems to sell out very regularly. So really happy to get this one in. Swords and Serpents. Always happy to get dust covers with these two. Double Dragon 2. Now bad top label, so likely an outdoor sale game, but my favorite beat em up on the NES. Dragon Warrior, Robin Hood, Dr. Mario. So again, most of these except for Robin Hood are pretty core titles that most people who had a Nintendo would have had. Tetris and Tetris 2, Yoshi's Cookie, fun little puzzler, Mario Duck Hunt. Again, every collection has that one. Micro Machines. This is one of the better unlicensed games for the NES, so really happy to get this in. We don't have a copy right now, so pump to get Micro Machines and the OG Final Fantasy. Kind of cool display case it actually has the nintendo logo on it so happy to get that an nhl hockey manual and a dr mario manual for the game boy always good to get random stuff like that so these are somewhat in order um some of the later stuff might be out of order but right now i've tried to arrange them kind of as the bundles they came in big box here um again this is a lot of collector's editions so uh gentlemen gentlemen sent us photos of a bunch of these collector's editions and then a bunch of amiibos so we're gonna go through that collection now so we got sonic mania collector's edition for the ps4 so that's pretty cool that thing is huge tales of zillia 2 big collector's edition sealed so kind of cool to get that tales of zesteria or zesteria i don't know these tales games have really hard to pronounce names so this will be fun because there's more of them in here Again, sealed for the PS4. Kingdom Hearts 3 Collector's Edition. And this, I believe, is one of the near games for the PS4. I'll have to double check, but uh, I know this one's quite valuable. Again, sealed, so really happy to get that. And Tales of Basiria, or Basaria for the PS4. Again, sealed. And a little uh, Samus Metroid keychain. Uh, probably goes with that 3DS limited edition. So. Yeah, lots of big box collector's editions. So again, for us, as much as this stuff is really cool, really hard to find space in the store. So we're gonna struggle to actually fit this in. Anytime you're selling us stuff that takes up a lot of space, our offer is gonna reflect that. A lot of this stuff we couldn't pay too high of a percentage on just because of how big it is, just nowhere to put it. And then we got some more stuff from the same lot in this bin. Destiny 2 collector's edition. Fate Extella Collector's Edition, sealed. So clearly, uh, clearly this guy didn't have time to play his games. He was a big collector though. Some sort of Destiny thingamabobber. A Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. So again, we don't really go after cards or toys. We typically try and focus on the game market. Just kind of takes up all of our, <laughs> all of our time just focusing on games. Would love to get into cards and toys, just don't have the time right now. But if it comes in as part of a collection, obviously we'll take it. Some sort of Pokemon Go thing there. Uh, Destiny patch. And then he also had a PS3 system with a couple of controllers. So again, um, not paying a lot for PS3s right now. We have a lot of them, but again, part of a lot. So 
we take it as it comes to us, obviously. So we'll get this out of the way, and then we're going to go look at the Amiibos that he had. And we'll start out with Samus and Metroid Amiibo. So again, these are all brand new in the box, really good condition. The Guardian from Breath of the Wild. That's a cool one. Again, these are on the larger side, and because they are sealed, they do take up a lot of space. So again, like the collector's editions, not offering as high a percentage as if they were loose or um, they were they were games that take up less space, basically. So Splatoon combo pack there. Samus, the original from Smash Brothers. Another Splatoon amiibo there. Chrome or Chrom from Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem fans are gonna crucify me now because I don't know how to pronounce the characters' names, but not a big Fire Emblem guy, something I need to get into more. Splatoon again, and Daruk or Daruk from Breath of the Wild. Lots of Zelda in here, actually. Tiki from Fire Emblem. Zelda and Fire Emblem, I should say. Lots of those. Urbosa, another Zelda one there. Link Rider. Mitha, or Mitha. This is gonna be a brutal video for mispronunciations. Between the Tales game, the Tales games back here, and all the other stuff, we're in trouble. Zelda, Pearl and Marina from Splatoon. Another Splatoon. Bayonetta, Wolf Link, Rivali, Rivali. Another Splatoon one. So I think the Splatoon ones, they're all wearing different costumes, so I'm assuming they made multiple. I used to collect Amiibos. I got out of it as soon as they started releasing like Silver Mario, Gold Mario, Gold Mega Man. It just got to be too much and kind of gave up trying to collect those. Just too many of them, too many variations. More Splatoon, Zero Suit Samus. So they had Samus, Zero Suit Samus, Dark Samus, like where does it end? Zelda and Loftwing, Palutuna, Palutina, I don't know. <laughs> We'll see Boko Blin. That's a tough one. And Link Archer. So that's it for all of the amiibos from that collection. Okay, Dave, back for round two. Okay, guys, so we just took a minute to clean up everything that was there to make more room because we still have lots of stuff over here. So, in addition to the collector's editions and the amiibos, um, this person also had a lot of just regular games. Really, lot, really cool uh, selection, lots of RPGs. Let's take a look. So Blue Reflection, I think this is the second one. Blue Reflection 1, we'll call it. Near Automata, sealed. Tales of Basuria. So in addition to the collector's edition, he had the regular copy. Near Automata Day 1 edition. Um, huge Near fan, I think he had every variant of Near. Near Automata Game of the Year edition. Atelier Sophie, Atelier Liddy, and Suel, Project Diva X, looks like Project Diva 2nd, Near Replicant, so another Near game, Final Fantasy 13 2, the OG Final Fantasy 13. A lot of people hate this game, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know, I, it just kind of struck a chord with me. Uh, a lot of people complain that it's not open world and there's not a lot of exploration. I played this at a time when I was really busy in my life with uh, CPA exams, so this was the perfect distraction game for me. Just go straight ahead, fight things, collect treasure. I had a lot of fun with it. Tales of Zillia 2 and Tales of Zillia. A sealed Tales of Zillia limited edition. Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13. So again, as much as I loved Final Fantasy 13, I haven't tried part two or this one, which is part three. Let me know in the comments if those are worth playing if I enjoyed the 13th one. So Nier for PS3. Drakengard 3 for PS3, sealed. Atelier Rurona. This one's also sealed. Atelier Maruru. This is the PAL version. Also sealed. Gal Metal for the Switch. Seems interesting. Also sealed. Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. And Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Wii U as well. Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD have shot up in price on the Wii U. And I'm not sure why Nintendo isn't making remakes of these for the Switch, but they really should. It would lower the price of these and make them much easier for us to sell. Fire Emblem Warriors Collector's Edition sealed. It's got that Nintendo circle sticker seal on it, so happy to get that. And then this looks like a Kingdom Hearts wall scroll. So overall, really cool lot there. And we're gonna keep going guys, cause I've got about four more bins of stuff. So it's not ending here. Okay, so we also got a nice lot of PS2 stuff. So we're gonna look at this one next. The OG Fat System, always need those. Could not give those away a few years ago. And now PS2 is finally coming into its own as a collectible system. A lot of people are coming in. I always tell them too that the slim models were a bit more reliable, but everyone wants the big guy because that's the one they remember having when they were younger. 
So we have a lot more slims in stock than the fat model. Official silver controller, always happy to get those. Usually when we get the silver slims, they're missing the controller. So we'll save that one and pair it with a silver slim system. Okay, now to get to the games, this guy loved his RPGs. So let's go through these. Final Fantasy X. One of my favorite games of all time. Final Fantasy X-2, again, a lot of people crapped on this one. I really enjoyed it. Amazing battle system. X-Men Legends 2, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, Final Fantasy 12, Dragon Quest 8, Journey of the Cursed King. Now, a lot of people bought this just because it came with the Final Fantasy 12 demo. I actually highly anticipated the release of this game. I have, I have this version with the larger outer cardboard box, and it's one of my most treasured possessions in my collection. Basically, if the house burns down, I'm grabbing that and maybe little Samson so I can sell it to make some money to rebuy some other stuff, but I'm definitely keeping this game. Phantom Brave, Makai Kingdom, Lapusel Tactics. So this guy was a huge fan of the tactical RPGs. Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, Zone of the Enders Second Runner and the first Zone of Enders, Ratchet Deadlocked, Ratchet Up Your Arsenal, I love when we sell this game because Dave and I usually just write up your arse on the uh, sales sheet just as a short form to make it easier to write and we both know what game it is. All three P Prince of Persia games for the PS2, very good sellers, very good games. We sell a lot of copies of these and the HD trilogy for the PS3, so happy to get these. Xenosaga, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, so not the expensive one but the regular version. I believe the other one is Tenchaiki 3, as I was corrected in an earlier video, so hopefully I said that right. Castlevania Lament of Innocence, Metal Gear Solid 3, Spartan Total Warrior, Dynasty Warriors 4, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, Resident Evil 4, one of my favorite games of all time. I played it on the Wii. I really suck at aiming with a thumbstick. I'm terrible at first person shooters or third person shooters, but with the Wii where you can point, I was actually pretty good at that game and I really enjoyed it. Really excited to try the remake actually and try it in VR mode. I think that'd be really cool. Beautiful Joe 2, Devil May Cry 3, this is the special edition. Okami, great game, amazing graphics. Gran Turismo 3, every PS2 collection needs Gran Turismo 3 in it. Burnout 3 Takedown, love the Burnout games. And Soul Calibur 2, and then a couple of guidebooks here. So codebook or guidebook for Phantom Brave. Yeah, I guess guidebook, there wouldn't be codes for that. And a little mini art book for Makai Kingdom. So probably a pre-order bonus. So that's really cool. I've never seen that. So overall, really happy to get that PS2 lot in. PS2 is doing really well for us lately. And we've got three more of these to go through. So let's just keep going, guys. The rest of these bins are just going to kind of be like the random lots that came in. I don't have them sorted in any particular way. So this is going to be pretty random. So let's just go through these. Metal Gear Solid, Black Label. Always sold out of this, so happy to get this one. Final Fantasy VII, again, sells regularly, happy to get it, great game. Final Fantasy VIII, not a fan. As soon as I found out you had to steal magic from your enemies, I was out, so I've never played this one. Final Fantasy IX, one of my favorite games of all time. I like this one better than VII. This is the one, in my opinion, to play on the PS1. And there goes our subscriber count, because I didn't pick FF7. Resident Evil Revelations for the DS, or 3DS. And then we got some complete in box NES here. So RBI Baseball 2, Star Tropics, Conflict, which is a very obscure game you don't see a lot, especially complete. Loops with a Z to be edgy. The OG Final Fantasy. This feels pretty heavy too. I think this has all the maps and the big manual. So happy to get that. Dragon Warrior 2, Dragon Warrior 3. And actually just to highlight on this one, the damage to the bottom of the box. So when we were sent pictures, we kind of asked um, the seller is there any big blemishes on these? He said no. When we saw this, unfortunately, we did have to adjust the quote down. Almost didn't get the lot because of that, but again, we can offer based on the photos we get, but of course, it's going to be contingent on the thing still being in generally relatively good condition. So whenever we send a quote off route, we'll say, we can offer this, you know, provided everything's complete and in decent condition. Like to me, that's chewed up, so going to be a lot harder to sell. Um, still got the deal done, still happy to get it, but again, disappointed in the condition of the bottom there, but can't be helped sometimes, just, just the way she goes sometimes. And then we got Zelda 2 and the OG Zelda. Again, it's the version where you can see the gold cart through the box, so really cool. So happy to get all those. Call of Duty Legacy Collection on the PS2, big box. Looks like the games are sealed, so that's pretty cool. Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition. This is actually very hard to find for the PS2. Really happy to get that. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, great game for the PS2. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Deblob for the Wii. Actually an underrated game, this game's pretty good. 
Super Mario 3D World, MLB The Show, and Burnout Legends, great game Burnout Legends. Loved playing that on my PSP back in the day. Halo 2 for the OG Xbox. Knights of the Old Republic, or KOTOR as the cool kids call it, for the OG Xbox. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Super Mario Maker, and another FF10. Again, great game. Got two copies of it in one go. Some 360. Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 2, NHL 08. Again, we don't value these that high, but if they're part of a collection, we'll allocate a bit of value to them and take them in. Call of Duty 3, UFC Undisputed, NCAA Football 11, College Hoops 2K8. I know some of these college games and, and late entry sports games are worth something. Um, I guess they weren't paying the athletes for the use of their likeness in the games and there was a big thing about that so they I don't believe they make college games anymore. I mean in my opinion if they're using their likeness to make money the kids should be able to make money. Um, I mean I don't have a huge opinion on whether amateurs should be paid but um, I think they should do something where when they grab or maybe it's a condition you graduate you get you get your royalty money basically but they should do something and that's why those games don't get made anymore and they may be valuable and I will add that we underprice those quite a bit to move them we're not going to throw a high price tag on a sports game and have it sit there in our store forever just won't do that Fable 2 Halo 3 ODST Call of Duty 4, Dragon Age Origins, and Dragon Age Origins Awakening, Assassin's Creed, Soul Calibur 4, Infinite Undiscovery, very weird video game name, I, I don't know, that's a marketing fail to me, Darksiders, The Last Remnant, again Square Enix kind of did a few exclusives on the 360 which was surprising, so these two are exclusive to the 360, at least in North America. So, interesting tidbit there. NHL 10, Warriors Orochi 2, Dynasty Warrior 6. There are so many Dynasty Warrior games out there, it's hard to keep track of them all, to be honest with you. Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires, Modern Warfare 2, Skate 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Import Tuner Challenge. I know this one's actually worth quite a bit relative to likely the quality of it, but again, interesting to get that one. Blue Dragon by Miss Walker. Again, if you're if you're gonna collect for the 360, you wanna get this and Lost Odyssey, both great RPGs, in my opinion. And one of the reasons why I actually bought a 360 during the uh, during that console war, I had a PS3 but had to get a 360 to play those games. Forza 2 and Forza 3. So the God of War model PSP. So again, really happy to get that. Don't have one. Really cool piece. Sonic Frontiers for the Nintendo Switch. Surprised to get that one in so quickly after it released. Double pack for the PSP. Looks like Motorstorm and Twisted Metal. Resistance for the PSP. Nintendo Land for the Wii U. Great game. Vice City, another FF12. Didn't really talk about this one. I couldn't get into this one. It's one I want to give another chance. I'm a big RPG guy, as you can tell with uh, how, I talk, how I actually know stuff about the RPGs that are coming in. This one I actually put quite a bit of time into and it just didn't, didn't resonate with me, but one I want to give another go. And Spider-Man 2, great game, basically Grand Theft Auto, but you're Spider-Man and it's like not crazy violent, but uh, great game. 007, Agent Under Fire, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Substance, say that right, this is the harder to find one, NBA Live 05, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn for the 3DS, actually pretty hard to get, this one shot up in value when the store closed, I'm not sure what it's going for now, but we'll take a look before we price it, a Game Genie, Final Fight for the Super Nintendo, this is like the end random bin, so some loose Game Boy, so Pac-Man, Wario Blast, Tetris, and Kirby's Pinball Land, Happy to get those, all great selling titles, so those will go quick. Untitled Goose Game, and some PS3, God of War Collection. Selling a lot of God of War ever since the PS5, the latest game on the PS5 came out. A lot of people go through the back catalog of God of Wars when a new game comes out. Uncharted, Just Dance 4, this is the heavy hitter of the lot. Uncharted 2, Demon Souls, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Cabela's North hunting adventure something or other outdoor sale game for sure silent hill origins great to have for the psp god of war chains of olympus nickelodeon all-star brawl for the xbox one i believe this is like smash brothers but with nickelodeon characters so kind of cool smash brothers for the 3ds mario party island tour for the 3ds 
Galaxy 2 for the Wii, Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, an Epic Mickey for the Wii, a 2DS system, blue and black, Shadow Hearts from the New World for the PS2, and Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. We got, this is mostly Genesis stuff in here, Hockey 93, Madden 96, Barkley, Shut Up and Jam. Again, when NBA Jam came out, there were a lot of copycats. There was this one, there was Jam It, and a few other ones. California Games, NBA Jam. This is this is the basketball game to get, not Barkley. And Double Dragon 3, the arcade game. Very hard to find, kind of pricey, and a terrible game. Actually, this one, I believe when, the, when it came out in the arcade, you would pay to like start the game and then there were shops where if you actually wanted to make your character powerful enough to get anywhere in the game you could actually spend money like throw more quarters in to get like better abilities or buy extra lives otherwise you'd get a game over so again kind of a crappy arcade game and apparently the genesis one is not much better but come buy it uh, another 2ds this one is the red model and it came with this cool red nintendo case genesis model one Again, this one's pricier than the Model 2 that was more square shaped. Um, a lot of people buy the Model 2 because that's the one they remember having. This is the OG though. This is the one I would get if I was collecting. And then we got another one. Not sounding too healthy, but we'll we'll test it before we sell it. So we've got two Genesis, Genesi. I'm not sure what the plural of Genesis is, but we'll go with Genesi. Ghouls and Ghosts. Great game on the Genesis. And then some loose games here. I remember this one. This was another vendor who has a booth at our flea market who doesn't specialize in games, so he'll typically sell us any gaming stuff he comes across. Teen Titans for the Game Boy Advance. Tac 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Lego Marvel. And then a case here with four games in it. Looks like New Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart. And Mario Party and Club Penguin. So that's that one. So now guys, I promise last bin coming right up. Okay, so we're on our last bin and we're just gonna plow through it and uh, see what the rest of the stuff was. So this it also looks random. So let's just see what's in here. PS3, Battlefield 3, Homefront, Mag, Resident Evil 6 Anthology. Don't see that one that often. Happy to get that one. Resident Evil Raccoon City, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Black Ops 2. I will say the Black Ops games sell very well on the PS3 and 360, so I guess a lot of people are still playing those. Mortal Kombat Unchained for the PSP. Dynasty Warrior 7. Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed Limited Edition. That's a mouthful. Mortal Kombat. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3. Advanced Warfare. Lots of warfare happening. War of Cybertron. Transformers. This one and Fall of Cybertron are really hard to get, so happy to get that one. Dragon's Dogma. Part 2 of this is coming out soon, so I could see someone wanting to grab this to play the first one. God of War 3. Dante's Inferno. Dynasty Warriors 8. Told you there's so many of these, I can't keep track of them all. Dynasty Warrior 7. Extreme Legends. I think we just looked at Part 7 a while back, so... Valhalla Knight's Elder Saga for the Wii. Very obscure Wii game. Don't see this one that often. Halo 3, Halo 2, and Halo 1. Always happy to get the Halo games. Again, they sell very well for us. And some PS2 stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! Digital Devil Saga. I think this is the second one, so... I don't believe the first one was in this lot, so very odd that they would have the second one. Or maybe this is the first one. I don't know. Digital Devil Saga, one of them. One thing I will say about this is they released the first game, apparently the ending's a cliffhanger, so then you had to buy the second one, which came out later. So I don't, they should have just put it all on one game. God of War, God of War 2, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. So lots of good PS2 in here as well. Devil Kings. Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, X-Men Legends, Inu Yusha, Secret of the Cursed Mask, that's an obscure one, Ring of Red, Hot Shots Golf 4, Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, Warriors Orochi, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the GameCube, Killzone, Need for Speed Underground, Gran Turismo 3, Burnout Revenge. This is my favorite Burnout game. I enjoyed the 360 version, but I'm sure the PS2 version is still really good. Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Medal of Honor, Twisted Metal Black, X-Men Legends 2, Untold Legends Dark Kingdom, 
Dungeon Siege 3, some garbage loose PSP game that's worth like a dollar maybe if we're lucky. Tomb Raider Anniversary, God of War Ghost of Sparta, UFC Undisputed, and Hot Shots Golf Open Tee. And oh, this is a good one. Uh, Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky. This is a really cool game. It took them forever to translate it and get it out here. And now the Trails games are really popular. This one kind of kickstarted it all. I actually played through about a third of this. It's a really long game and I had a lot of fun with it. It's one I want to get back to. Highly recommend this one if you're an RPG fan. And we'll finish it off with some PS1. Tony Hawk 3. Again, I had the PS2 version. I don't know if the PS1 version is any good. It's definitely not going to be as good as the PS2 version. However, Tony Hawk 2 on the PS2 was amazing, so I'm sure this game's playable. X-Men Mutant Academy, Supercross Circuit, Wrecking Crew, never heard of it. Hummer Badlands, Spec Ops Stealth Patrol, Mission Impossible, Vigilante 8, uh, no manual on that one, but We'll sell that loose. That's a great game. Someone will definitely buy that at a discount because it's loose. Silent Hill, Black Label, the OG. That was a big, that was a lot of the value of one of these lots was this game here. VR Golf 97, not a lot of value of one of these lots here. Tomb Raider 2, Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Cool Borders 4. I was a huge Cool Borders fan back in the day, but mostly uh, the first and second one. The second one is one of my favorite games of all time. You get that little alien dude with the shovel who could just spin. Really cool game. Grand Tour Racing. Smells like an outdoor sale game. Tony Hawk 2. This is one of my most played games of all time. I actually played the demo more than I played the game. I couldn't afford to buy new games when they came out back in the day. Uh, there was a demo for the, the Marseille France level of this game in one of the magazines I got, and I just played the crap out of that demo over and over. I was really good at that level back in the day. Top Gun, Fire at Will, Smackdown 2, FF8, Final Fantasy 7, Greatest Hits version, Chrono Cross, one of my favorite games of all time. Just as good as Chrono Trigger, I don't care what anyone says, Crucify Me, great game. And Shadow Madness. And that is the end of that bin. So guys, that was basically half of in volume anyway of all the stuff we got on that day where we spent a ton of money and everyone who we had a deal with like lined up showed up and then some which almost never happens so basically i've got a pile of stuff to go through and price and we're going to get this in the store as soon as possible thanks again for uh going through this unboxing with me it was a lot of fun and i'll do more in the future until next time cheers guys which i can't figure out how to open because i'm stupid Dave will edit that out and make me look good. Or he'll leave it in to make me look stupid. Whatever you want to do, Dave, your choice.